Now the internet's not the only place that you can use hyperlinks that you click on to go from one web page to the next. You can actually insert hyperlinks within your workbook here. For example, I've got my invoice here and, and let's say that I got a new coworker. He wants to be able to fill this out and bill one of our clients. And here it says to enter in a customer ID. Let's say that he doesn't have all the uh, customer names and IDs memorized. So I would like to go ahead and convert this into a hyperlink that he can click on and either open up a web page on the web and have a listing of all the customer names and IDs or just a local document here on his computer or on our network. And to do that, I can insert a hyperlink here one of two ways. I can either go ahead and select the cell, come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to Links, click on Hyperlinks, opens it up, or close out. Again, when in doubt, right-click, and you might get the option here, as we do down below. And we do have it, so go ahead and click on Hyperlink. It brings up the same window. So over to the far right, it has a list of all the different options when it comes to linking. Do you want to link to an existing file that's within your uh, computer or on the network or some web page on the web? And then you have these other two options that we won't be covering. We'll cover the email address, the existing file, and web page. I'm going to show you how you can link to all three. So next, after I have this option selected, it's saying, look, choose a file on your computer or on the network or a web page. First of all, let's do the file thing. Up at the top it says, how do you want your text to display? And you can see that it's reflecting what we have selected there. I can go ahead and change it and just say, enter in the customer. Maybe they have multiple IDs. In any case, you can make the change here. Then over to the right, you have what's called the screen tip, that when they hover over the link before they click on it, you can have a little pop-up that says something like, Okay, the screen tip is to please enter in the customer's ID. If it's a new customer, then please contact your manager. Click okie dokie. Now we just need to go ahead and select the file that's somewhere on our computer. Where do we want to look in? Well, currently we're looking in the exercises folder, but you can click on the drop down arrow and navigate through all the other folders on your computer. Like I can go to my desktop and say what's on my desktop. Well, there's the exercises folder. Double click on that. And then within that folder, got a lot of files I can link to, PowerPoints, Excels, different applications. But the file that I'm looking to link to is a Word document. It's called Customer's IDs. Here, go ahead and select that. Down below, it's got the address that points right to it. So when we click on it, it can go ahead and look in the exercises folder right to the customer IDs and pull it up. Which, by the way, once it's linked to it, if somebody comes in and yanks it out of that folder and it's still looking in the folder, then obviously it's not linked to it, it's a broken link. In any case, go ahead and click OK, and there we go. Well, let's take it for a test drive, go ahead and click on it. As you can see when I hover over it, it gives me that pop-up, the screen tip. Please enter in the customer's ID. If a new customer, contact your manager. And also, as you recall, when we changed the uh, text to display, we added the S there. In any case, go ahead and click on it. Opens up the Word document. Fabulous. It didn't close out of my Excel program because if I go ahead and let's say it, we're billing healthy medical care, select it, Control c to copy it, close out, then I can come in here and paste it. Now, because I have the cell selected, I can just go ahead and Control v as in Victor to paste. Remember, Excel's dealing with cells. Then I'll go ahead and click Cancel, come up here in the formula bar, and Control-V as in Victor to paste it. That way the formatting is not different when I'm coming from an application that doesn't have cells and one that does. Now, you've got the hyperlink still there tied to the customer's ID, which is fine. I mean, you can always, you know, click on it, pulls it back up. But if you want to remove it or maybe edit it because you don't want to link to that um, document anymore, so I can go ahead and right click on that, go down to edit the hyperlink. And instead of having it look at that address for that file within the exercises folder, I can come down here, delete it, and then just go ahead and type in the web page address. And then the moment I'm finished typing, www. does two things. First of all, it adds the uh, pretext, the HTTP, the protocol then the colon forward slash forward slash. And then because I've already used this as a hyperlink before, it pulled it up. In fact, it goes to the videotrainingpro.com, the contact page. If I don't want that, then I can just go ahead and delete that and just have it as the home page. So I can link externally or on the web here by typing in the web address. And then when I'm finished, go ahead and click OK. So that's the way you can edit a hyperlink. Now let's go ahead and test it, click on it. 
give it a second and there's the web page. I'm going to go ahead and close out. Then to remove the hyperlink, go ahead and right click and there you go, remove. The last one I'm going to show you is that if you want to go ahead and have a link where somebody clicks on, like where it says email contact manager, that'll open up your email program. And then just go ahead and address the uh, contact manager with their email address. To do that, go ahead and right click on the cell, go to hyperlink. I'm going to select email address and it says, okay, what's the email address? The moment I start typing in the email address, I was going to type in manager at vtpro.com. Notice that when I start typing it, it's going to add its HTML coding, mail to colon. You don't want to come back and delete that because that's part of how Excel knows that when you click on the link, it's going to open up your email program so you can go ahead and, and use that program to email the person, the contact manager in this case. So again, we'll start typing. It automatically inserts again mail to manager at vtpro.com. If you have a default subject that's going to be there every time, like it's about or in regards to the invoice, then go ahead and type that in. The screen tip again, when they hover over that, to say something like only contact the manager in extreme emergencies or whatever you'd like. In any case, you know how to do it. Click OK. Converts it. Now, you'll notice that because the font's so large, it doesn't squeeze all within the column here, so it looks like it's cut off. In any case, I can stretch it open if I wanted to. Otherwise, you can see it up in the formula bar. It's all there, Manager. So to test it, go ahead and click on it. It opens up my Outlook program. It's addressed appropriately to the manager at vtpro.com. With the subject invoice, go ahead and type in whatever you need to do, or ask the manager about the invoice, click Send, and you're good to go. I'm not going to save it. I'm going to close out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you get online access to all my training. Or for downloads and DVDs, please visit me at dreamforce.us.